Sunday, bloody Sunday. Hopefully your Sunday's not bloody at all, but here we are. This is another show off Sunday video. You may remember last weekend I did one showing off uh, most of my tops run from uh, 1952 all the way up through 1989. Today we're going to try to do 1990 all the way up through 2020. Um, I have to go over in my other box to get those last uh, 2019 and 2020s out. But at the very least, we can start with 1990 here and move our way on through everything. So once again, I'm planning on trying to put together a new banner for my uh, YouTube channel, for my Twitter, for my Facebook, for everything. It's going to have one card from each of these 1952 through 2002 top sets. Autograph card from each of those shown off in it. That's in my collection. So if you see any video or any cards in this video that you particularly like, that you think deserve to be represented, leave a comment. Let me know. I'll try to get those ones fit in there as best I can. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to get as many different teams represented in there as I can, as many different players represented. Anything like that. I'm not trying to stick to any theme up there with it. Just, you know, keep it as varied as possible. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start on this 1990 top set. Got a not a ton to show off out of this one, fortunately, but I'm going to do like I did in my last video, where what I'm going to do is just uh, name off the players, and I'm going to show one of each set, and then just, you know, start naming. Just to me, I think that's going to be a lot, uh, a lot easier to work with through all this. So, 1990, not one of my favorite designs at all, by any stretch of the imagination, but there's Zane Smith from that set. It's not a big fan of, like, those uh, duotoning gradient effect going on there, and the, uh, puke yellow back on those just uh, no 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 please please stop it tops fortunately 1991 they followed up with one of my favorite sets ever made so just a one-year flop fortunately but here's what we've got here to choose from if any of these guys sound good we've got zane smith doug raider danny darwin marty pv i'm just gonna name everybody off that i've got in here i mean uh yeah we're still early in this video so yeah why not I've got John Hart, uh, Steve Farr, Greg Matthews, Don Robinson, Gary Milkey, Milkey, Melky, something like that. Uh, let's see here. Mel Stottlemyre Jr., uh, Jack McKeon, Vance Law, Craig McMurtry, Don Ace, Donald Harris. I'm going to try to avoid stuff like the Donald Harris card there because this is the draft pick there up at the top. Try to keep it to the straight up plain old ordinary base there wherever I can. <laughs> We got Dion James, Joe Morgan, Juan Gonzalez rookie card. That might end up being my winner right there. Is that one? Gotta love an Igor rookie. Well, let's see. We got here uh, Frank Tanana. There's an All Star, Jeff Russell, Tom Brunanski, Jamie Moyer, Dave Johnson, Pete Incavilia. Got Jerry Brown, Kyle Abbott, Denny Walling, Mike Brumley. There's Dave Schmidt, Rick Shu, Gary Pettis with a very tiny signature. Uh, Mark Icorn. We've got uh, Mark Grant. Ken Daly, Phil Stevenson, Storm Davis, Curtis Wilkerson, two of those in there. I've got Spike Owen, Chris Spire, Tom Treblehorn, Jeff Reed, Scott Bales, Frank DePino, and John Wathen, all as possibilities in there. Also got some from the traded set. They didn't uh, change anything up on that, so it's a possibility. I might pull one of those out as well, such as we've got Brad Arnsberg, Mike Blowers, Tom Brunanski, uh, Scott Coolbaugh, Storm Davis, Mark Eichhorn, Terry Leach, uh, Pete O'Brien, Gary Pettis, Scott Ruskin, and Dave Schmidt, all in there. So that's 1990, which, like I said, not one of my favorites. It was followed up with one of my actual favorite sets in the 1991 set. 91 debuted a lot better photography there in that uh, top set, and it's, it's what I've referred to as the Stadium Club trickle-down effect. And what I mean by that is in 1991, Top started, using, uh, started producing Stadium Club which was this uh, kind of, you know, premium brand. They needed something to be able to complete, compete with uh, Leaf being put out by Don Russ, with Upper Deck just as a whole, and with, uh, who else was it? Pinnacle was being put out by Score for the first time that year, and Fleer had just put out Fleer Ultra for the first time too. So Tops came up with Stadium Club as their uh, higher-end release, and they really had a heavy focus on having excellent photography for it. And so a lot of photos that didn't get used in Stadium Club kind of trickled down into the top sets for the next few years. And so that's what I call the Stadium Club trickle-down effect. You'll get a lot better of a quality of photography starting in the 1991 tops set. So going through a few of these, uh, we've got manager Joe Morgan. I'm not going to show that one off because I can't choose it. So uh, it's got the, uh, well, I'll show you right here because it's got that manager tag there at the bottom there. I prefer to avoid that if possible. There's a regular one from the set. That is Bobby Witt Sr., 
As you see, no manager tag there, just the player one. So this is what the regular set tends to look like. So we've got Bobby Witt, we've got Colby Ward. There's uh, Mike Sims, Art Howe, Jerry Brown, Kurt Wilkerson, uh, Dave Johnson, Keating Cavilia, John Orton, Greg Gagne, Doug Rader, manager card. Horizontal, Jim Jeffcoat. I'm also trying to avoid horizontal cards whenever possible. Mike Jeffcoat, not Jim Jeffcoat. Mike played for the Rangers, Jim played for the Cowboys, so there we go. But yeah, trying to avoid the horizontal cards like that wherever possible. I've got Jody Reed, Bud Harrelson, Mark Grant, John Wathen, Steve Farr, Charlie Hayes, uh, Bob Rogers, Mickey Morandini, Jeff Russell, Frank White, Mike Stanley, Calvin Schiraldi, Tom Treblehorn is a manager, uh, Steve Bouchel, three of those sitting there, wow. Uh, Mike Lieberthal, it's another one I'm going to avoid because it's got the draft pick tag there at the top, which is too bad, that's a great signature right there. We've got Tommy Green, there's Jeff Manto, Charlie Huff, Joe Oliver, uh, Dave Rode, Jose Leaned, but that one's going to be another horizontal one. Uh, Jeff Kungel, Scott Ruskin, Mike Walker, Jerry Don Gleaton, Danny Darwin, a couple of those, uh, Bill Long, Derek Lilliquist. Lilliquist actually got in person back in 1992 on that card. I've also got uh, Brad Arnsberg, there's uh, Phil Stevenson, Greg Harris, and Willie Fraser. On the top's Canadian set, I've got Joe Morgan, uh, Mike Sims, Jim Aker, and Bill Sampin. And from the traded set, there's going to be Skeeter Barnes, a Team USA Todd Green, also horizontal. Let's avoid that one. So Jeff Johnson, Mark Lewis, Tom Runnels, and Mark Witten. So, again, if any of those names stick out, let me know. Leave a comment. Also got a Don Zimmer in there as well. And that actually is a Don Zimmer and not a Mrs. Zimmer signature. So, really happy to have that one in there. All right, let's see here. Moving on to the 1992 top set. All right. So for anybody, uh, like I said, I recorded this video actually last week from a week after you're seeing it, basically, or a week before you're seeing it. Yeah, how would I do it a week after? That would be, be a neat trick there, a little time travel. But, uh, my wife and I spent the day doing some uh, moving and cleaning of stuff in our apartment, and so I uh, ended up having to break down this uh, couch that we had in here for a few years, we're about to get a new one. Broke it down, had to saw pieces off of it, kicked up a lot of dust doing so, and I am paying for that today. So, uh, be a lot of sniffing, a lot of coughing, trying to keep the throat going with some water there, but uh, we'll see how long I can go for it. I mean, I've been talking for well over an hour at this point in recording it. I had to break it up into two sections just to keep everyone from possibly getting bored from it any more than you already are, at least. So, yeah, just bear with me as best you can, please. So, as I said, I'm going to move on to the 1992 set, uh, starting off with two that I won't be able to use in there, and Buck Rogers and uh, Scott Ruffcorn. But right there you see Steve Farr. That's the design of the 92 set. Another one of my favorite ones. This one had a lot of really great photography that uh, got trickled down from Stadium Club into the regular top set. Um, if I come across any of those, I'll show you. And, and come to think of it, I didn't really show off any of the... 91s that had really great shots on those. So I'm going to go back really quick here and try to go through and just see if any of these were worth showing off since I wasn't really paying super close attention there when I went through them. Stuff like Jerry Brown turning a double play is like the kind of stuff that he's finally started to see in 91. Um, getting, you know, Greg Gagne uh, trying to throw out Mitch Webster stealing second. Stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Interesting angles like, you know, the horizontal J uh, Mike Jeff code. Nearly called him Jim again. Football on the mind right now, apparently, for some reason. Uh, let's see here. That's probably about... Okay, well, yeah, right there. The Jose leaned right there, you know, fielding a throw at second base. Just such a an, in, an improved photo quality there for top starting in 1991. And yeah, that's about it for that set. So, once again, I'll keep an eye out, and if any of those come up in 92, I'll show those off, but... Like I said, there's Buck Rogers and uh, Scott Ruffcorn. Those ones, though, it's a manager card and a draft pick card, so I'm going to try to avoid those styles on my banner. Uh, let's see, we've got Tom Runnels, Doug Simons, Tommy Green, Scott Bales, Todd Van Poppel. Nice angle here on that Brian Downing right there. Unfortunately, that's a horizontal one, so let's avoid that one. Same thing with Jimmy Jones. Jose Guzman is good. Um, Buck Showalter is a manager. Skeeter Barnes, Jose Hernandez, um, Ruben Amaro, Jeff Russell, Jerry Don Gleaton, Bob Scanlon, Jim Clancy, John Wayner. Another good shot right there of Kelly Gruber. Again, can't really use it on my banner, though. And same thing with the Jim, with the uh, Dan Plesak card. 
Got Kevin Tappany. I definitely want to throw a Kevin Tappany card somewhere, though, so he might be my pick for 92. Uh, we've got Danny Darwin, Don Robinson. They love showing Don Robinson batting. He was one of the better hitting pitchers of the 80s and 90s. Got Scott Service. We've got Doug Drabick. That's another great one, unfortunately, on a horizontal card. Uh, I've got Frank Tanana, Tom Kelly, Mike Sims, Benji Gill, draft pick. There's uh, Donald Harris, Bill Sampin, Wayne Rosenthal, Steve Bouchard on horizontal ones. Um, excuse me, Dave Johnson. Another great shot right there on the Tom Foley card. Unfortunately, again, horizontal. Can't use it on my banner. I've got Mo Sanford, Trevor Miller. Uh, Pokey Reese. Still, this is Calvin Reese on that card. So, uh, I was railing against the tops in their usage of nicknames, and that's one time when they didn't use one was with uh, Pokey Reese. They eventually started doing that once he hit the majors, though, because that's what everybody knew him as by that point. <laughs> Scott Ruskin, there's Art Howe, Kyle Abbott, Doug Henry. That's about it for the 92 set right there. So, you can see some of that uh, really good photography, though, that they had uh, upgraded to at that point. <laughs> Let's move on here through to the 93 top set, if I can dig those out. There we go. One that I can't really use on the channel uh, banner at all, but one of my favorite ones I'm about to show off first. And that one is the dual signed one of Darren Dalton and Brian Harper. All-star catchers that year. Dalton no longer with us. Harper has stopped signing by mail. Both are very reliable TTMers though for a number of years. So look at the regular 93 set. Uh, Bob Scanlon is the first one I've got in there. and That's a great example of what that set looked like. So, there you go. We've got Bob Scanlon, Frank Tanana, David Hulse, Lee Gooderman, Gary Gaiety. I need to get a hold of the Junior Ortiz card from this set because Ortiz has started signing recently, and the photo was from just before Gaiety was sliding in. So it'd be really cool to have both of those signed if I can possibly pull that one off. We've got Gary DeSarcino. There's Tim Scott, Doug Drabick, not personalized. That one I picked up at a card show. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, Jose Guzman. There's Mike Bilecki, Corey Snyder again, Luis Alcea. Rod Nichols, Scott Livingstone, there's Orlando Merced, Mike Munoz on a couple. David Needs, solid portrait right there on him. First pick, of course, of the Colorado Rockies in the expansion draft. Got Lee Stevens, Jimmy Jones, Eric Wedge. He did a lot of really good shots of the Rockies in there. That's a good one of Wedge. Dual manager's card signed by both Phil Garner and Felipe Alou. Again, not eligible for the banner, but really cool to show off at least. Uh, we've got Tom Brunanski, Charlie Huff, Dean Palmer, Arthur Rhodes. Uh, Dave Malicki, Kelly Gruber. Did a really good job, some really good Gruber shots in the last uh, those couple of years there. We've got Mo Sanford, Tim Tuffle, uh, Todd Van Poppel, Pat Mahomes Sr. right there. Uh, Russ Springer, Eddie Zosky, Chad Kruder, Greg Gagne, um, Donald Harris on a couple of those. We've got two of uh, three of Jeff Russell. Uh, who else? Jim Corsi, so you can see they did the same thing with the Marlins as the Rockies. A lot of good portrait shots there. Pat Rapp, and then the Coming Attractions cards, which I won't be using at all in there, of Scooter Tucker and Stan Royer. Royer? Royer? One of those? Something like that. So let's move on to 94. Next, 94, I remember buying a lot of. <laughs> kind of took a little bit of uh, time off, sort of, in uh, with the 93 set. Kind of showing more football at that time, and also going back and getting some more 92s to try to finish out that set. So I didn't buy a whole lot of 93 tops. Did do a lot with the 94 set, though. I remember buying a ton of that right after my birthday. Getting a lot for my birthday from a couple friends at a birthday party and all that. So, show you off one of these real quick. This is going to be Doug Henry is the first one in there. Former bullpen coach of the Royals, now pitching coach of their double-A team. Yeah, he's in there. We've got Guzman on a uh, horizontal one. Pat Mahomes again. Rich, Rich Becker on a future star card, so can't really use that one. Kevin Stalker. I've got Russ Springer, Jason Bure, Kevin Tappany again. Mike Maddox, there's Steve Dreyer, Doug Drabick again. I like the Drabick card there, showing him uh, with the catcher's mitt. It's always fun seeing stuff like that. All right, we've got Lance Painter. Yeah, it's Lance Painter. There's uh, Danny Darwin, Ted Power, Jose Lind, uh, Carlos Hernandez, both those on horizontal cards. Got Mark Gubiza, there's Darren Fletcher, Luis Alicea. I always like that Ray Sanchez one right there, too, where it shows him signing his 1993 Tops card for his 1994 Tops card, so cool stuff there. Unfortunately, again, a horizontal card, womp womp. Moving on, we've got Bob Scanlon. There's uh, Jeff Shaw, David Hulse, Tim Bogar, Todd Van Poppel, David Segui, Roberto Hernandez, Doug Brokale, a couple of those in there. We've got Jay Howell, Carl Willis, Charlie Huff, Tommy Kramer, um, there's uh, Steve Bouchel, Mark Clark, oof, didn't see that one got smeared a bit. Oh well. 
Steve Scarsoni, there's a draft pick card of Jamie Wright, so we won't be using that one. Horizontal Duel of uh, Mark Kiefer and Troy O'Leary. You've probably seen that on the channel there before when I got it back in the mail. And that is, oh, okay. Somehow I put those in the wrong spot, but there we go. 770, 763 needs to go into there. Okay. Coming Attractions Royals there with Oquist and O'Donohue was the other one. But yeah. Also got some Topps Gold ones. I'm not going to bother with those, though, since I really don't want to try to use those on there if I can avoid it. So we're on through 93 right there. Move on up to 94. Let me see here. Do I even have any more that I need to show off from this box? Yes, I do. Okay. At least get these up and out of the way again. So as I mentioned in my previous one, anything that's in a top loader is a player who is now deceased or is in the Hall of Fame. Try to keep those separate and well protected. Unfortunately, they're finding a few that have died recently that I don't have any more top loaders left on. I mean... I've got some that have scotch tape all over them. I'd prefer not to use those, though, if I can avoid it. And to get a new pack of them these days, it's running very expensive right now. So, uh, nah, that's all just going to have to wait, I think. So, let's move on, though. We've got the 95 set upcoming here. And the 95 set is one another one of my least favorite Topps productions that's ever been put out there. I mean, let's see here. Let's see. 95. There we go. There's the 95s. Really didn't buy a whole lot of it at all. Uh, 95 was right after, of course, the uh, strike. So I don't even remember what I bought a lot of in 95, if anything, in the card world. I don't think it was much. I can tell you what it was in 96, at least. But yeah, here's the 95 set. You'll see the Denny Hawking card right there. So we've got Denny Hawking on two. We've got Derek Lilliquist. We've got Wayne Kirby. We've got Tim Scott. And we've got Ken Hill. And that's it. So didn't really do a whole lot with that set. Excuse me, one moment. All right, much better after that. Just had a sneeze coming on. It's like, let's just pause that video right there and take care of that. So we're back again. This time we're going to be getting into the 1996 top set here a little bit. And uh, Sean Casey's the first one there. We can't, really can't use that one, though. It's got the uh, draft pick design on there. Nice card, though. It's one of my favorites from that set. I remember one point, that thing had a book value of 20 bucks on when he first came up with the Reds and was just tearing it up right there at first. Plus, I mean, that set was popular because it had a Mickey Mantle card in it there right after Mantle's death. And so you had those two guys, I think, just about back-to-back -back in the set almost, wasn't it? Yeah, not quite. One was on card seven, and Kane, uh, Mantle was card seven, Casey was 25. So, yeah, not back-to-back, -back, but still, I mean, both fairly early in the set. Made it really popular with collectors. I remember picking them both up at a garage sale for fairly cheap that summer before it really got popular. And, yeah, I mean, the Sean Casey blew up to, like, 20 bucks at one point. It's down. I mean, you can you probably get it for a quarter now, unfortunately, but... Still, at least you can get it signed. So there's that. Uh, here's the regular set design. It's one of my. F it's one that I really like. '96 was a really good year for card designs. I thought. Love the '96 Fleer set. Bought or yeah, '96 Fleer bought a ton of that. Got a lot of it signed. '96 Tops was a really good design. '96 Score was that one good? '97 Score I think was my yeah. '97 Score was one I liked better than '96. But even like '96 Donruss was a really good one. So yeah, a lot of stuff. A lot of really good ones from that year. So yeah, I just showed you Scott Leas right there, so there's a possibility. We've got a Rusty Greer, Benji Gill, Orlando Merced. Um, probably going to try to avoid the Charles Nagy one just because it was from the Indians pennant uh, commemorative set, as you see right down there with the pennant winner's logo. I've also got Jose Herrera and Tim Crabtree. Those are on their uh, now-appearing cards, though, so I'm going to try to avoid those. And there's Ken Hill also on a Champions card up there as well, so... Pretty limited as to what I'm going to choose from 96, which is too bad. I mean, like I said, that was a really nice set design, I thought, that year. 97 is what we're going to move on to next. Fleer had another really great uh, set. That's what I bought the most of that year. Um, bought a lot of 97 score as well. Tops I had a ton of because I picked up this huge box of them at a garage sale in Michigan a couple years after the, the set came out. It was like this, uh, if you remember those old uh, continuous feed uh, computer printer paper boxes. It was one of those boxes just filled completely with all sorts of cards. Mostly 97 tops, but a lot of other uh, late 90s stuff in there as well. I ended up actually with a few uh, Don Russ, uh, it was like Don Russ Signature Series or something like that. A few autograph cards from that. Um, there's actually a Kobe Bryant rookie card in there that I still have now. And I'm probably going to get slabbed here pretty soon. This is uh, Upper Deck one. But yeah, so let's look at the uh, 97 tops design. Fortunately... Uh, not a whole lot of subsets in here to have to worry about. Uh, just some horizontal ones I'll try to dodge, but get an idea right there from Rusty Greer. Red bordered ones were American League, green bordered ones were National League. You see Greer right there. There's also Paul Shuey, Jaime Navarro. 
Got a Jose Herrera. There's a, vert, a horizontal Tim Crabtree. We'll be avoiding that one. William Van Landingham, he of the longest name in Major League history, I believe. Not sure if that's still a record or not, but super long name. Uh, Mark McLemore, horizontal card. Terry Adams is horizontal. We got Mike Stanley, would be usable. Julian Tavares, Ken Hill, Pat Mears. Got Darren Oliver. Several Darren Oliver there, wow. Uh, CJ Nitkowski, Bobby Witt Sr., Curtis Pride, Jason Bure, Jermaine Allensworth, a horizontal Kevin Stocker, so he's out, and big man himself, Bartolo Colon. That might end up as my winner for the 97 set, if I can uh, sneak that in. So that's 97. Uh, 98 was a set where I didn't really buy a lot of either. 98, by that point, I was really starting to transfer over to a lot more uh, concentration in hockey, more than anything. So yeah, the 90... Did I say it was 98 set? Yeah, 98 set. I only have two different cards signed from the 98 set. That is Pat Mears. Got three of that Pat Mears card, though. And... Oh, okay, I've got uh, three cards from there. So Pat Mears, plus Travis Miller and Dustin Hermanson. So it's going to be one of those three going into there, and I'm leaning toward Hermanson, but it could be just about any of those ones. And that signature on the Miller card is a little spotty. That Hermanson one, though, looks good, so that's probably going to be our winner right there. So, yeah, that's about it for a 98. Didn't buy a whole lot of 99 either. 99 was one where, like I said, again, I was uh, concentrating a lot more on collecting hockey at that point. So, I do at least have, uh, I, my grandfather got me the Topps Traded set that year as a Christmas present. Really good one, too. I mean, they had, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Josh Hamilton's rookie card was in there. Alfonso Soriano's rookie card. Um, Adam Dunn was in that one, too. Pretty good is what it turned out to be. So, yeah. Um, let's just go through these ones real quick. First off, one to uh, mention is Roy Halladay. He's on the both the deceased and Hall of Fame list. One of the uh, few that I have in that area. Picked this one up at the National in 2014 when he was still alive. I think it cost me about $2 or so. One of the best purchases I've ever made there. So, One of the uh, second best purchases I've ever made there. You may have seen earlier this week. Hopefully if it came back to me. I'm getting kind of weird in time traveling with my times on here. Because, again, I recorded this one last week. But that's like a whole week of stuff that I don't know where what I'm getting in. Because I hopefully have gotten some stuff in. But uh, if I haven't gotten it yet, it'll be coming up soon. And that's the 83 Opeachy Ryan Sandberg that I just mailed off recently to be signed. Hopefully it came back earlier this week. If not, hopefully it'll be early next week. We'll see. So, anyway, some other ones from the 99 top set. We've got Bill Seamus listed clearly as rookie card, though. So that's one I'm probably going to try to avoid picking. We've got Scott Ellerton and Juan Guzman as possibilities, though. I like that Ellerton one. Got that one signed in person at an Indians game in 19, or 2005. Got a Jeff Shaw and Pokey Reese both right in there. Be solid options right there as well. Good signatures on those. Uh, let's see, moving into the uh, Topps trade set, J.D. Klosser right here. It's uh, listed at the top as a rookie card, though, as you can probably see right up there. Try to make a little light across it. There you go. So we'll try to avoid that one. Got a Mark Clark and Ron Gant both on Topps traded cards. Got Mike Cameron, Homer Bush, and David Segui all on them as well. So those are potential options in there, too. So let's move on. That puts us at 99. So we finally got through a decade in about 25 minutes. Not too bad. All right, so I need to get into the 2000 tops set. Am I in 2000? This is 2000, okay. And there's 2000 tops. All right. Don't think I have any in the deceased and Hall of Fame box here. In fact, I may have already reached the end of... Tops ones in there. Not quite. Got a 2008 that I'll be showing off later on. But at the very least for this box here that's next to me, it's all going to be out of the sleeved ones here. So what we have here is the 2000 top set, gray borders, hearkening back to 1970, 30th anniversary of that set. And uh, yeah, this one I actually rated as being one of Tops' worst sets they ever put out. So... Fortunately, I, I didn't buy much of it because of that, so not a whole lot to show for you here from it, but you saw Warren Morris right there. Also got Chuck Finley. I like that Finley one. That's a recent card show pickup. Got Dave Burba, Troy O'Leary, Bill Seamus. Oh, let's see here. Moving to the traded set, I believe. Nope, that's Bobby Howery. That's, uh, yeah, wow, God, I've gotten really bad on some sorting in this thing, but uh, there we go. So we got Bobby Howery in there. There's uh, a couple alternate versions of the Bill Seamus card there. 
A um, couple of them labeled as rookie cards from the Topps traded set are Todd Moser, Mike Edwards, and Ramon Santiago, so I'm going to try to avoid those being as they're listed as rookie cards specifically. <laughs> Nothing against those, it's just when you alter the design for it, that's when it's like, ah, I'm going to try to avoid that. If, you, if it's just like what they did from 2005 onward, which is that rookie card logo that's in the corner, I'll allow it. As long as it doesn't interfere with the overall design, then I'm good with it. So we're going to move into 2001 right now, and again, another set that I really did not buy a whole lot of. Um, yeah, teal is not one of my favorite colors at all. You can thank the Florida Marlins beating the Indians in 97 World Series for that, but yeah, this set had these kind of almost like teal borders on them that I really didn't like a whole lot. So again, it's concentrating on hockey. I didn't buy a whole lot of that stuff, but there you go. That's the Gil Heredia card. Got Heredia, Bill Miller, John Wetland. That's another one we're not going to be putting him in the banner at all. He and Mel Hall can uh, stay off elsewhere. Uh, we've got uh, Dave Berg. There's Homer Bush. Rusty Greer, Doug Brokale. Ron Belliard. I think that Belliard one end up, might end up winning. That's a solid sig out of him. In person in Indians game in 2005. Uh, we've got Jimmy Williams and Jerry Manuel on manager cards. We're going to try to avoid using those, though. Totally different design. There you go. Uh, we've also got Donnie Sadler, uh, Bill Seamus on a horizontal card, uh, Darren Oliver, Jarrett Wright. If we look at the traded set, I've got Jason Hart, and that's it. So not a whole lot to have to worry about in there either. So there you go. We're up through 2001 at this point. All right, now we're going to have to do some box shuffling here. Got a big one to pull down here that'll have the 2002 through the present all in it. These are 5,000 count boxes that I'm moving around, by the way, so uh, not exactly light stuff. But, all right, 27 minutes in, and we're finally starting the 2002 top set. So, this is, uh, yet again, another one that I didn't really buy a whole lot of. I kind of like the design, though. I mean, this is a pretty decent uh, job with the gold borders on it. Two manager cards I'm not going to be using at all are Tony Muser and Tom Kelly, because they have manager going up the side on them like that. But we do have a few regular base cards here that are worth checking out, including Toby Hall. Ah, there we go. Get the light off of that one. Got Pat Rapp, Bill Miller, Charlie Nagy, Denny Hawking, Todd Jones, and Abraham Nunez. All possibilities in there. Let's see if I have any I think I have some of the tops traded set as well, which I do. Unfortunately, these guys are all of the uh, from the prospect subset. So since it has prospects going up the side like the manager ones, I won't be using any of those either. So there you go. We're through 2002 easily. 2003 was kind of the last, one of the final years where I really didn't buy a whole lot of baseball at all. I was doing a lot of in-person hockey graphing. And so, uh, yeah, didn't really concentrate much on baseball, but I have a few here and there. Uh, Danny Baez, unfortunately, is on a horizontal, so we won't bother with that one. But there you go. There's Jason Simantaki. You can see there a throwback uh, or a callback to the 83 and 63 sets used in 03. has the uh, inset headshot right down there. So kind of a cool aspect right there with the uh, throwback there. So we've got Jason Simantaki that you just saw right there. There's also John Flaherty, um, horizontal one of Pokey Reese. Manager one of Rod Gardenhire. We're going to probably not use that one. Wayne Leiden and Ruddy Lugo on prospect ones. So not those, not those either. <laughs> Got a few others, though, fortunately, here with uh, Ryan Drees, Dave Berg, and Kevin Mensch. All as possibilities there for the 03 representative. Moving right along, we'll go into the 2004 set. This is when I started to kind of get back into doing baseball as my main one. 04, I was living up in Boston and uh, had access to the Red Sox and a lot of visiting teams. So started buying up a little bit more baseball and doing some uh, in-person graphing there as much as I could. And they had a really good design. I always like down in the uh, corner there, you'll see it on the John Halama card here. They put his jersey number and they use the photo of him from the card as a silver foil outline down there. You can see down at the bottom there. Let's uh, get right about there. Try to get the light reflecting off it just right to where you can see it easily. Let's zoom in right there even. So there you go. As you can see, it's just uh, the photo of him right there put into a silver foil outline form with his jersey number. I mean, this one has everything on the front. It's got the team name, player name, position, and jersey number. That's that's more than they give you in most years on the front of Topps cards. I mean, some years you're getting a team logo and a, t and a player name, and that's about it. So great job by them on that one. But, yeah, we've got John Halama, Dave Berg, 
Bill Miller on a couple. Deanna Navarro, I love that's a rookie year Deanna Navarro sig. You didn't get that sig out of him for very long. I've got Simitaki. We've got uh, Carlos Pena that I picked up at a show recently for about a buck or two, which is great because he's doing a signing in a couple weeks for 25 a card. So grabbing that at a buck, uh, I'll take that any day. We've also got a Jerome Williams. There's Mike Timlin, Brian Anderson, and Keith Folk signed outside Fenway Park at some point during the 04 or 05 season. Probably 04. It was 04. So there you go. That's what I've got there. Do I have any traded at all? I don't think I do. And I'm wrong. I have a Jason Fraser from the traded set, which is usable. So we're up through the 04s. 05s is going to start kind of getting heavy again there. It's uh, it kind of died off for a couple of years there, but now we're going to start getting to sets that I was pretty actively uh, getting signed. Uh, nothing out of the top's traded set that's going to be usable from that year. So we'll stick to the regular set here. We've got a... Show that off right there. So this is a lot more like the 64... Well, actually, no. 04 to 64 had more similarities with the uh, big team name at the top. These ones had the big player last name at the top. Different design from anything they'd done before, and honestly, I really like it. 05 was a very well-done set, I thought, overall. Love the uh, team name uh, text logo at the bottom of the card. So, yeah. Back-to-back -back decent designs there by Tops. I gotta say, I really like those sets. So, Casey Blake, you just saw there. We have Ben Broussard. There's Raphael Furcal. Eric Wedge, he didn't do anything special for the managers either, so I can go ahead and use that Eric Wedge card if I wanted to. I've got Brian Anderson. I feel like I need to throw a Brian Anderson somewhere in on there. I've got Ryan Drees. There's Tramel Sledge, John Halama once again, Dustin Hermanson, Damian Miller, David Siggy, Jake Westbrook. I've got Aaron Miles, Jason Fraser, and a draft pick card, Ryan Garko. Can't use that, but still like showing it off anyway. Garko is a favorite of mine in Cleveland. So there you go. Several there to choose from. So once again, you know, if you're seeing anything that you like that you think belongs in the banner, leave a comment down below on this video, and I'll see about fitting it in whenever I uh, finally get around to redoing my page banner and the uh, intro banner and anything like that. So let me know. Let's take it on to 06 now. 06 is where I really started to buy stuff up again quite a bit, because, I mean, I was trying to see if I could get the uh, Alex Gordon error card out of a box somewhere. And I was starting to get back into TTMing again. I just moved down to Texas and uh, didn't have any in-person graphing to be done. So it's like, you know what? Mail out whatever you can. I'm living here, you know, two hours away from Dallas-Fort Worth at that time. I wasn't getting down to Rangers games very often at all. So mailed off a lot. So got quite a few back. Got some stuff signed eventually down the line as well. So look here at the design. Team name at the top, position at the bottom. Good stuff. And so we've got Damian Miller that you saw there. There's Clint Barnes. There's... Uh, Pokey Reese, Jeff Bloom, Mark Tehan, Jason Fraser, Kevin Mench, Jason Phillips, uh, Phil Garner. That one, again, they didn't do anything special. Managers put manager in the position spot there. So Garner will be usable. So would uh, Jim Tracy. Anderson Hernandez as well. Jason Botts. Oh, we've got CJ Wilson. There's Lou Ford, Ben Broussard, John Rodriguez, and Jeremy Accardo. All as possibilities for that. So again, if one of those sounds good, leave a message. Let me know. Uh, let's see here. Do I have anything out of the traded set? I do. I've got uh, Kelly Shopik from the traded set right there. Or update set, I guess is what they started calling it at this point. And we also have a Franklin Gutierrez that we could use there as well. So, again, if one of those sounds good, let me know. So that's 2006. 2007 was uh, one that I bought a lot of, but it was not one of my favorites at all. Um, it had, uh, for some reason, 07, they decided, hey, let's let's... Let's harken back to 71. It's like, that's not like a five or ten year anniversary or anything. It's, why, why, why are you doing this? And so we ended up with these sets that had these easily chippable black borders. You'll see on that Delman Young there, for example, there's a corner at the bottom there that's kind of dinged up pretty bad. But I do have quite a few signers, so there you go. You got to see the Delman Young card right there. We've got Todd Green, Jeremy Sowers, there's Darren Oliver, uh, Brent Cleveland, Cleveland, something like that. Uh, Mike Napoli, Ryan Garko, Alex Cintron. We've got Mike Jacobs, there's Mark Tehan, uh, Matt Thornton, Anibal Sanchez, Phil Garner. Yeah, again, they didn't do anything for the managers at all, so I can still use that. We've got Sean Casey in here, Dan Johnson, uh, Termel Sledge, Ned Yost, We've got Juan Perez. And Hideki Okajima. So, 
Got a few options right in there. Let's see, did I get anything out of the update set that year? Yeah, I got a few update sets. We've got a Ron Washington in there. With the, oh, actually, actually, let's say a red text back. Interesting. But yeah, there's a few update set ones here as well with a Jason Fraser, Antonio Alfonseca, Matt DeSalvo, and J.D. Durbin. So a few options there for the 07 top set. 08, I kind of backed off a little bit because I hated that 07 set so much, and I was doing a lot of hockey TTMing, so didn't really buy a whole ton of baseball. And also, I mean, I was I was kind of poor at that point right there. So uh, it's like, yeah, don't really have disposable income at that point. I was still working in a regular uh, part-time radio job that was not willing to pay me very well. So uh, fortunately, I got out of that and was able to get back onto things eventually there. But uh, let's take a look here. So the... Uh, 2008 set. We've got one Hall of Fame box member right there. And that's one that I won't be using because uh, they've altered the design for the managers there. We'll see in a moment. You see it says manager right above his name. They kind of extended that bar up a bit. So Tony Larusa, great card, great autograph. Can't be used though in my uh, in my banner. I could, however, use Scott Casimir. See right there, as I mentioned, they uh, there's no bump upward there the way they did on Larusa and the manager cards. Kind of wish they had, though. I mean, they could have put the position in there. They could have uh, done it in place of the uh, Tops logo at the top there. Something like that. Move the Tops logo elsewhere. I don't know. But, yeah. Here's what we got. got Scott Casimir. There's uh, Ron Washington. Can't really use that. Uh, let's see. Sam Fold. Mike Baxick Jr. Might be kind of cool to hide both uh, Mike Baxick Sr. and Jr. in there somehow. We've got Gerald Laird. There's Andy LaRoche. There's uh, Dustin McGowan. Ian Snell. Jeff Bloom, Dan Johnson, David Murphy, Dave Roberts, Jeremy Accardo, uh, Fernando Hernandez, Juan D. Rodriguez, Brandon Wood, Josh Hamilton, Ben Broussard, there's uh, Mike Jacobs, Matt Tupman, Joe Borowski, Adam Kennedy, and Mike Pelfrey, all as possibilities in there. That's just from the regular set. Um, updates, we've got, oh yeah, we've got Tops update here. We've got Ramon Castro, Robinson Cancel, Mike Avilas, Herman Duran, Dave Borkowski, Chris Perez, Kevin Mench, and uh, Hernan Irbaran, all as possibilities in there. We're at 38 minutes right now. I think we're probably good to go on for a little bit further here. Might break up into a third version of this, or third volume of it, here in a bit. We'll see how it goes, though. We're going to move into, so that was 2008, I had said. Let's check it. Yeah, this is going to be 2008. So let's see what we have for 2009. 2008, I actually mostly got the Upper Deck First Edition set signed. I got a lot done out of that. Picked up a box set on sale at a Walmart at one point, and uh, yeah, just mailed some out, got some done in person, whatever works. Means I've got a lot to dig through, though, for these other sets. So, to get into these other sets, I should say. So, here we go. It's going to be 2009 tops. I didn't buy a whole lot in 09. It was a lot of, uh, again, you know, getting out of the uh, part-time radio jobs, so... Uh, not a whole lot of extra income, not a whole lot of extra time, because this is right when I was starting to go into working with the uh, hockey team for a while. So it took up a lot of time. So I didn't really write a whole lot. I didn't have any IP graphing to be able to do. So I didn't really buy a whole ton of this uh, 2009 set. Can't use the Ryan Garko, so I'll show you the uh, Hideki Okajima card to start things out. Not a favorite design of mine either, and I also was kind of getting tired of the fact that Topps was doing all these kind of forced error cards and stuff in there and throwing in all these other alternate... alternate cards and variations and all that. I'm just like, uh, I'll pass. I'll pass. But I do at least have Ryan Garko on the horizontal one, Hideki Okajima, Greg Golson, uh, Alex Hinshaw, Josh Banks, got, uh, let's see, Gerald Laird, Luke Montz, got Matt Harrison, Dave Tremblay. Do I have anything from the update set? Probably not a ton, if any. And yeah, it doesn't look like I have any of the update. Got a few heritage ones. Yeah, I've got one update, but it's a horizontal, so... All right, so that was 2009. Let's go ahead and go into 2010. We'll at least get 2010 done. I might call this this one to an end. We'll do 11 through 20 in the next one or something like that, the final decade. So I've got a lot of those to go through. I did a lot more because, you know, a lot more in-person graphing from 13 onward for me. So I'll have a lot more of those to show. So I think, yeah, this is going to be the last of this volume here. We'll do volume three. We're going to record it right now. We're going to do it next. We're going to play it next weekend, so it'll be... But two weeks out of date, basically. I might have short hair by then, for all we know. But, yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So, this is the 2010 top set. This is Justin Masterson right there. This is a nice design, I thought, overall. 
Got that kind of, you know, swoosh or cutout kind of thing going on right there. Got the team uh, logo text right there. I always prefer using text logos whenever you can, so that one came out really well. I, I was a fan of this uh, design. Didn't get a whole lot of time from them. I mean, you just saw Justin Masterson there. I've got a Matt Lindstrom, Johnny Peralta, Clint Barnes, Jason Fraser, Aaron Laffey, Phil Koch, and Mark Zepchinski. And that's about it. Do I have any of the update cards at all? Got a few update ones. We got Chris Perez. Okay, I think I have one update card. Oh, wait, no, that's a team. Uh, that's not an update. That's the uh, team set that they sold at, like, Walmart and such is uh, Chris Perez in there. So may have more update coming up after this. And, yeah, here we go. Update cards we have. Uh, Colby Lewis, John Mar Gomez, Matt Guerrier, Josh Donaldson, who signed with just a big J, and that's about all his signature came out as on that, unfortunately. Got a JP Aaron Sebia, Mitch Moreland, uh, Josh Tomlin. And, yeah, that's about it for that one. So... There you go. Unfortunately, the uh, decade ends with a fizzle rather than a bang there, but should have a lot coming up from 2011 onward. So I did have a lot of 2011 for a couple of 2012 outings that I was able to go on. And then, of course, we'll start hitting stuff hard again in 2013. So I've been using a lot of the 11 and 12 cards then, too. So once again, thanks for tuning in. We're about the 40-ish minute mark on this one. So we'll call it a day on this and start up next weekend with the third and final edition of our Show Off Sunday, The Tops Run. Thanks again for tuning in on this. Hope your mailboxes are full. I'll see you again uh, Saturday with an update on this week, and then Sunday with another Show Off Sunday video.